BJ Penn is one of the best submission artists in the UFC. It only takes five pounds of force to choke someone out. That's less force than it takes to break an egg. But our data shows that BJ can deliver 34 times more force than necessary. To find out exactly what happens during this submission, we're gonna wire me up with the most technology ever used to study the rear naked choke. Time to sacrifice my body for science. So we put three different types of equipment on John. We put an FNIR sensor, which will tell us blood flow in his frontal cortex. We put an EEG, which will tell us the electrical activity in his brain. And then we put a heart rate monitor that will also give us a respiratory rate. You definitely don't wake up and say, I can't wait to get choked at work today. Do not try this at home. I'm only doing it because I'm going to be in the hands of a pro. Hold on. Wait, wait, no. Oh. No, don't crush my windpipe. Three, two, one, choke. Mm. Mm. Did I get choked out? Did we get him? Yeah. Our unprecedented data reveals exactly what happened moment by moment. Although the brain is only 2% of the body's weight, it utilizes 20% of the body's oxygen. And when BJ's forearms compress my carotid arteries, the blood flow, therefore oxygen supply, is reduced by 13% to my brain. Three seconds in, muscle activity more than doubles. At six seconds, my vision starts to go. First, color fades. Then, a black curtain closes in for my peripheral vision. This curtain is the last thing I remember. Eight seconds, interaction between the 8.2 billion neurons in my frontal cortex has stopped, halting my short term memory. And at nine seconds, I'm out cold. My brain is in survival mode and powers down my entire body. My heart rate drops from 124 to 80, respiratory rate drops by 55%. At this point, electrical activity in my brain has been reduced by 65%. After BJ releases the choke, my heart aggressively pumps to push oxygen-rich blood back to my brain at 12 milliliters per second. And amazingly, the world's most sophisticated computer, the human brain, reboots in only three seconds. And the only residual effect is a five-second gap in my memory. Did I get choked out? I thought we had not done it. I felt pressure, and then I was talking again. I did not feel passing out at all. In the UFC, 95% of fighters tap out before losing consciousness. And because of the rules in the octagon, no one has ever been seriously injured because of a chokeout. I way rather get choked out than knocked out. No cuts, all your teeth are still in your mouth. You, right. know, you got nothing to worry about. We discovered some incredible data, but make no mistake about it. Choking is dangerous business, and it's best left to the pros. For Sports Science on ESPN, I'm John Brinkus.